Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice of radio, so today we need to check back in with Triple Beat, because as is always the case, as could have been predicted, what we're seeing here is a rather hilarious drop in prices for Triple Beat. The prices of some of these cars on release for Triple Beat, it was even ridiculous compared to what we've seen a lot lately. And that wasn't an ideal situation. Well, the wonderful news, ladies and gentlemen, is that as we're looking today, we are seeing a fairly significant downturn in prices. And this is wonderful, ladies and gentlemen. So let's go and have a little bit of a gander. Now, one of the ones I told you about the other day, which was inexplicably expensive, was the Magikarp. The artwork rare Magikarp that was frankly more expensive than like any artwork rare really should be. Now when I showed you it last week, it was 2,500 yen. It is, as I recall this, currently sold out over on Card Rush, but the most recent amount of money it was listed for was 2,000 yen. We do need to be careful here, because of course, if it's sold out at 2,000 yen, they may relist it a little bit higher, and if they do relist it a little bit higher, it's getting dangerously close back to that 2,500 yen. However, this one's pretty easy maths. It's dropped by 20% in the space of a few days. It's only a few days since I did this. Late. I think I did it on Friday. And I'm sitting there on Monday like three days later. This is a good thing. But I thought what might be a nice way to do this is if we just go through the top 10 cards and see what's actually happened to them in terms of price. So number 10, when I showed you previously, it was the full art of the Dene. Now, this is another one which is actually currently being shown as sold out. So again, this could be relisted as a higher price. But when I showed you the other day, it was 3,280 yen. As I show it to you today, it's 2,780 yen. Okay, that, that's a fairly modest fall, I will admit. That is not a huge fall or anything like that. But there's still a decent fall there. I mean, this is the number 10 card in the set, or it was when I showed you the other day. It's now sitting here at 2,780 yen. So you're talking here, if we put it into dollars, around about $21. That's not bad, honestly, ladies and gentlemen. That's not bad at all. When I showed you this the other day, it was like $24.50. So again, a, a small drop here, but a welcome one nonetheless. The other day, number nine was the gold Quaquavel card, the, the least liked of the first partner Pokemon, at least in terms of this set, I think it's fair to say. The other day, this was 3,780 yen. It is now 3,000 yen. Okay, fine, it's 2,980. But I'm just adding on that extra 20 yen, because 20 yen is almost nothing. And it makes nice round numbers. And I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but I've got to go ahead and do it. So 2,980 yen means that we've seen a drop here to about $22. It's not bad. When I showed you the other day, this was looking more in the line of around about, we're doing a bit of rounding here, $28. So again, we're seeing a little bit of a drop here. It's nice. It is a decent drop. It is making all of these cards more affordable. In at number eight, we saw Skeledurge. Now, Skeledurge is still more expensive than Quaquavel. But when I showed you the other day, the Skeledurge was coming in at 4,480. It's dropped down to 3,280. So it's dropped by around about a quarter. Yes, I know that's very rough maths. I'm fine with that. But again, all of these were seeing some quite nice drops. And 3,280 means that it's currently coming in at around about 2,450. It's not bad, ladies and gentlemen. That's not too bad. Now, when I showed you Tavra Day, I told you that the number 7 card was the gold Meowskarada. And there was a reason for that. Basically, the Meowskarada's got a really nice ability. It lets you discard a grass energy from your hand to drop free damage counters on a benched Pokemon. We like the free damage counters. We don't like that you have to target the bench. You can't go after the active. But I told you that for that reason, the gold Meowskarada was actually... There was a reason why Meowskarada was the most expensive of them. And this is a playable card. And yet, it's gone and dropped. 
The other day, it was 6,980. Now it's dropped to 5,180. That is a decent drop-off, ladies and gentlemen. We can now be picking this one up very casually for like $39. And that's still a decent amount of money, but... I suppose one way to put this is a booster box retails at 5,500. So it's now below the price of a booster box, whereas before it was significantly higher. That's a good thing, ladies and gentlemen. That's a very, very good thing. Now, the special art rare of Getsis came in at number six. And this is a special art rare. Remember, it, it, for some reason, right? What we're doing in every set, we are picking one of the special art rares one of the female ones, and going, right, this one's going to be ridiculously expensive. So Getsis wasn't one of the ridiculously expensive ones. Getsis is, um, well, it was a bit more reasonable. But the other day, it was still 12,800 yen. It's now fallen down to 8,980. That's around about a third of its value. Again, we're using rough rounding maths here. That's fine. It's dropped by about a third. And again, I've given it three days. I have literally given it three days to drop, and it's dropped by about a third, which is kind of hilarious to me, and I kind of love this. Uh, 89 80 you're looking at about $67. So it's still an expensive card, don't get me wrong, and I do expect these prices to keep falling. Again, I've only given it three days, but the fact that it's fallen that much that quickly is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Now, after that, we got into the special art rares of the first partner Pokemon. And Quagwavel, like I say, there was a clear ranking of 1, 2, and 3 here. Quagwavel was the clear number 3. It was 14,800 yen. It's now 10,800 yen. So it's not quite a drop of a third here, but it's really not very far off. It has dropped by almost a third in the space of three days. And once again... I consider this to be wonderful, wonderful news. It's now sitting here at 10,800 yen, which means that we're talking about $81. And don't get me wrong, right? This is still almost two booster boxes. It is still a very large amount of money, but the raw amount of money isn't what's really interesting me right now. What's really interesting me right now is the fall. It's why I'm showing you the price from three days ago and putting it up side by side with the price from today. Because I want you guys to see how much they've fallen. And if you wish, you can work it out as a percentage or any of that. That's up to you guys. What is important right now is that you can see this and go, oh, oh, that is a pretty significant fall. And that's kind of my point here. Now, Skeledurge came in at number two previously. Skeledurge, the special art rare, when I showed it to you, it was coming in at 19,800 yen. It's now dropped to 13,800 yen. That means more than a quarter. A quarter of this is rough, was roughly 5,000 yen, which would bring it down to about 15,000. That would be a quarter drop. Instead... It's actually dropped down to 13,800. And in fact, that one I did just whack into a calculator. It's pretty much bang on 30%. 30% drop in the space of three days. This is wonderful. It's still a $104 card. So it's still a very expensive card. But if I see a card that drops 30% of its value in the space of three days, I'm not jumping on that yet. I'm going to sit here and wait to see what happens. If you are looking to buy singles of Triple Beat, and for the record, I am actually looking to buy singles of Triple Beat, I'm, I'm going to be waiting a few days yet, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be giving this a little bit of time. I think these are going to keep falling. Now, at number three, we had the full art of Dendra. This was a one non-special art rare that made its way this high up in the list. And when I showed Dendra to you previously... It was a fairly preposterous 37,800 yen. It's now dropped down to 24,800 yen, which admittedly is still $186. Like, let's not pretend this is some kind of super cheap card. It is still a very expensive card, and I'm not pretending it's not. All right? 
I'm not claiming these cards are super cheap. This video is not talking about how super cheap the triple beat cards are. This video is talking about how much they've fallen in price. But this is a real significant fall in price. And I do think when we get up to this higher end and the falls are larger numbers, it is worth looking at them as a percentage. And here we're talking 34%. It is a 34% drop in the space of, say it with me, ladies and gentlemen, three days. That is absurd. That is preposterous. It keeps going. At the number two card, and you might notice these rankings do seem like they're holding quite nicely. The, the value is falling, but the actual ranking of them does actually seem to be holding pretty nicely here. Uh, the number two card was the special art rare of Meow Scarada. Firstly, its artwork is absolutely stunning. But again, like I told you a couple of times this video and in previous videos, this, this is clearly the most playable of the first partner Pokemon. So that is also pushing it quite nicely up. When I showed this to you the other day, the Meowth Scarada had ballooned all the way up to 37,800 yen. It's now 28,800 yen. As a side note, when I showed you the other day, Dendra and Meowth Scarada were tied. I still put Meowth Scarada at number two because I told you that looking at a bunch of other places, it was trending a bit higher. Now that the prices are coming down, Meowth Scarada has cemented itself as number two, 4,000 yen higher than Dendra. So looks like we made the right call on that one. But in terms of a fall, again, we've obviously seen a smaller fall here. So we've seen a fall from 37,800 to 28,800, a 9,000 yen fall, which is a more modest 24%. Like I said, not as high as a fall as Dendra, but still, ladies and gentlemen, that is still kind of awesome. Oh, I don't think I actually said how much this was, did I? The so 28,800 yen is $216. Again, not claiming these are crazy cheap cards or anything stupid like that. I'm claiming they're getting more reasonable. So we finish off with Dendra, the special art rare of Dendra, the big card, so to speak, from Triple Beat. And when I showed you the other day, it was coming in at a eye-watering, I was going to say mouth-watering, but that's not the word I'm looking for, an eye-watering 124,000 yen. A ridiculous amount of money for a card. This has now fallen to 84,800 yen. Now, let's be clear, like I keep telling you, this is not cheap. 84,800 yen is still a $640 card. A little bit of rounding here. But this is still a 32% drop. It's fallen by 39,200 yen. To put that in context, remember, I showed you the number two card in the set is the Meowth Garada, which is currently sitting at 28,800. So this fell by more than 10,000 more than the second highest card in the set. That is a ridiculous drop. So yeah, fine. It's still a $640 card. It's still a ridiculous amount of money, but it's fallen by 24%. And like I keep telling you, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think we should be assuming, oh, they've had a really sharp drop. Now they're going to start climbing. And they could. We, we can't look into the future. However... I do feel pretty gosh darn convinced here. I do feel pretty confident that these are going to keep falling at least for a while yet. Most of these sets do see a drop in price on release. That is to be expected or just after release. But it really does look like this is seeing a more pronounced drop than we normally see. And this is wonderful news. And I am delighted. But now it's over to you guys. Tell me which of these cards you're excited about. Tell me which ones you're going to be picking up. Tell me if you're going to be waiting a little while before you pick these up. Go nuts in the comment section, but be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about, well, Pokemon and card games and Pokemon card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, all kinds of fun things. And of course, get shoutouts on the channel like the lovely William Shaw who is one of our newer patrons, only been a patron for 11 days. So I believe this is the first shout out on the channel. So welcome, William. I hope you have a lovely time here. So thank you very much for the support and for joining the crew. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.